So um, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Muhammad Ubalekiru. Uh, I'm currently a PhD student at University Sense Malaysia. Uh, basically, I'm working on cyber security. So I do research and uh, I'm a tutor as well. So uh, so let's begin. Uh, today uh, we are going to look at Mendeley Referencing Manager. Uh, it's one of the best referencing tools in, in the research arena. So today we are going to look into Mendeley and to see how we can benefit from some of the functions. So uh, going quickly, uh, we'll look at some of the topics we're going to cover today. And uh, the first on the list is we're going to look at the benefits of Mendeley and why we should use Mendeley. And then, of course, we are going to show you how to download and install Mendeley on your system. Then we are going to describe how we can add files into Mendeley, then how we can read files from Mendeley, then how we can cite documents uh, that we have added to our library. And then, of course, we can we, we will also look at how we can share documents with other people, uh, especially our research colleagues. And then, of course, we are going to look at how we can use Mendeley as a search engine uh, because Mendeley has its own search engine. So we are going to look at Mendeley search engine. Then uh, towards the end, we'll look at an overview uh, structure or architecture of Mendeley. And of course, some of the functions that we can uh, benefit from. And then lastly, we'll look at Mendeley Cloud, how Mendeley can be used uh, on the cloud services. So going to the first thing is that we're going to look at the benefits. So basically, uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, Mendeley is actually a referencing tool for academic and non-academic purposes. Uh, we can use it to organize our files or our materials or our literature and then we can use it for collaboration with other researchers, researchers online. And then we can use it to discover latest research. So this is basically uh, what Mendeley is all about. So Mendeley is not only a referencing tool, but rather you can use Mendeley for writing as well. I have uh, I, I did a video on how we can use Mendeley for writing papers and articles. So you can refer to the video uh, in my channel. And then I'm going to add the link to the video uh, under the description. So um, what are some of the benefits of Mendeley? One of the benefits of Mendeley is that it allows you to automatically generate bibliographies and it does not limit you to only one style of writing. It allows you to explore different styles of bibliography and you can switch from one style to another without affecting uh, the current one. And then it allows you to collaborate with other researchers whom you are probably working on the same research together with. And then, of course, it allows you to import papers and then it serves as that engine that, you know, uh, import as well as export papers for you. And then we can find relevant papers using Mendeley, we, you know, papers that we read or papers that we might be interested to read. Sometimes Mendeley give us some good suggestions or if somebody publishes a paper which might interest us, Mendeley is smart enough to know and to be able to collect that information for us and give it to us at our own disposal to decide what to do with it. And then lastly, uh, with Mendeley, we can be able to access our papers online so that you can have different computers and you can work on the same Mendeley account uh, using the same settings and configuration. So moving forward, we'll look at the first and uh, the foremost thing we should do. So the first thing you should do if we, if you don't have Mendeley, then uh, I believe now you should be able to download Mendeley. So the first thing uh, we will look at is how to download and install Mendeley from the Mendeley site. So uh, I have a short link here. I can just click on this link and automatically it takes me to the Mendeley site. As you can see, this URL, uh, you can copy it down and uh, type it. Otherwise, you can just uh, go to Google and then from Google, uh, you can just write Mendeley. As you can see, I've already written Mendeley. So uh, you can see that I have a variety of options. I can just click on download to download Mendeley or I can go into the website and uh, have a look at 
how the website works so i can just select two options now i'm opening the, the to show you the the, 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 the monthly site so this is basically a monthly website from here i can click on download and it takes me directly to this page and i can just click on download and monthly will download on my uh, system actually so i'm just clicking on download uh, before download finishes uh, wow it has just finished so um we can first of all what you should do after downloading monthly is is good to register on the monthly website and uh, to register you click on create and uh, for the fact that i'm not a first time user it already has my email addresses so you can use uh, use another account you can register from here by writing your email address and then continue then next 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 and then till the end now having that having done that uh, what you do is you just go to your system and uh, try to download Mendeley. So uh, this is my Mendeley actually. So I'll just double click and then wait for the installation to pop up. Yes. So I will start by clicking on next after reading the, you know, privacy agreement and everything. You click on agree then you can choose the path in which you want monthly to be stored then you can go ahead and choose next install so um the problem close my oh okay so good that was an error i was using monthly before i uninstall it from my system okay 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 all right so uh when i click on this it says run monthly on desktop so by the time i click on finish automatically it goes and open uh monthly for me so uh, let's wait for monthly to open okay good now i'm not supposed to see this uh, as you can see on my system uh, monthly should take me to the login section so but because i was using monthly on this system automatically it took me there so uh, this is why you can see my files but for a beginner who is just logging in uh, you have to provide your uh, login details before you can have access to the monthly account so now now we have installed monthly and we have some other installations to do so i'm going to minimize this and then i'm going back to monthly website because i need to download some add-ons uh, one add-on is the one that helps me communicate between uh, monthly and my browser and then another uh, uh, add-on is the one that allows me to communicate between monthly and my office document so i will go to the next one and then from the monthly website i should go down just go down uh, where is it yeah so you go to downloads as you can see there is a plugin called web importer so i will click on web importer and then i will say get web importer for chrome if you are using uh Microsoft Explorer or you're using uh, some other Explorer or whatever you're using it will give you the option for that I already have monthly on my system if I had not have monthly on my system then I will just click on add and it will install directly as you can see uh, it's here so now I already have it so I will just close this so now remain one installation and the installation I have to do is the installation for uh, Microsoft Office when I open Microsoft Office right now, uh, you will notice that uh, I don't have the option to use Mendeley in my references section. So now look at the reference tab. I have other citation options like this one for Microsoft, but I don't have Mendeley. So to install Mendeley uh, add-on, I have to close Microsoft Office. Then I open Mendeley again. Then I go to Tools then there's an option called install uh, MS Word plugin. So I'm going to click on this and installed, it is done. Now, if you want to install the web importer, which I already installed, you can also click on this and it can help you uh, install. Now, so let's look at our slide and see what we have next. Now, we are going to Okay, now we are going to see if Mendeley has really installed on uh, Office.
okay so when i check on reference i can see mandalay has been added as a service here and uh, this is where all the manipulation is done so let's look at the next thing on the slide the next thing is we're going to look at how to add papers or how to add materials to my mandalay so first is to locate the document that you wish to add then you can also drag and drop then you can click uh, the add button to add uh, the material and then there's also another which has not been included here but quickly let's look at this one so um, first what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use I'm going to add some papers into Mandalay so let's assume that there are no papers my Mandalay is empty nothing has been added to my Mandalay yeah, yet so if I want to add the first thing is I can click on the add option I, as you can see there is this small button I can just say add material and uh, it can take me to my system or my device from there I should be able to see uh, so many things uh, for example uh, I will click on this one and then I will say add now as you can see it has added this automatically you see all the information related to the paper is being added automatically so this is one way to add paper into Mendeley then another way is I can click on add folder to add the entire folder or folders to just add everything without selecting but in, in the beginning I had to select as you can see I selected one paper otherwise I can just select the entire PowerShell paper and then uh, it will be added directly and then of course I can add manually for example now let's say I have a paper uh, let's find a paper on my system okay this is not a paper let's see this one okay so this is a paper actually and I want to add this paper manually so what I will do is uh, I'll go back to Mandalay and then I will see what what type of paper or what type of uh, document is this so based on what I have here this is an article actually sorry this is a chapter so all I have to do is I'm going to select this is a part of a book section and uh, the title of the article is this so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here okay then i'm going to write the name of the author uh, if there is another author i can just include the name so uh, what is the name of the book uh, the name of the book is uh, the age of technology that is the name of the book and the book was published in the year 2018 and uh, this article is between chapter let's see which page is it okay the page number is not included but let's say we all we already know the page number and this is between page 1 to page 15 for example and then of course uh, this is chapter 1 I can just say chapter 1 and then uh, if this is important you can write important let's say New Jersey edition if you know the edition you can say first edition and then if you know the name of the editors you can add it the name of the publisher is IGI global you can just write then the URL so what is the URL of this document and let's say um, let's say the URL is this for example this is just an example I just copy the URL then uh, I paste it here so now if I have the DOI number as well I can go ahead and include the DOI number so basically this is the DOI number of this article I omitted uh, one figure I'm going to add it later so one so this is basically the DOI when I click on save automatically uh, this book has been added now this is the third way of adding uh, materials to Mendeley. Now another way of adding materials to Mendeley is by copying the URL number of, a, of, of an article and then uh, just write it down there. Now this is uh, IEEE website and I'm going to use this paper but I don't want to waste my time copying the details and the information. All I want to do is I just want to use the DOI number to 
add the paper so i'm going to find the doi number and this is the doi number i'm going to copy the number and then i'll go to add add entry then i go to the doi option i paste it then i click on the search button then Mendeley will automatically locate the paper on the web and then uh, all the information has been given sometimes you have to check and ensure that the information is correct so that you avoid uh, saving wrong information if the information is correct uh, after verification uh, after you have verified from here that everything is correct then of course you can click on save button now this is the fifth example is it the fifth or the fourth example so now another last way to add paper into Mendeley uh, you can simply uh, minimize this one and uh, we are going to the web now let's say uh, I, I open a paper and let's 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 say uh, this paper for example okay so uh, what I want to do is I want the web importer the Mendeley web importer to um, import this article into Mendeley for me so to do that uh, I already told you that you need to register online, which we already did. So I can just click on this red button, and uh, Mendeley will read this, uh, this 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 entire document. First, you need to sign in. Uh, for me, I already have my account. All I have to do is just uh, sign in. All right. So um, Mendeley has located this paper, as you can see, uh, Static Analysis of Executables for Collaborative Malware Detection on Android. This is the paper. So there are other options. Maybe some papers have also been detected. So all I have to do is uh, I'm going to click on this one. I have selected this one. I will just go ahead and confirm the information. If the information is wrong, then I have to fill the information manually. For this paper, there are some omissions here. For example, the city is not here. So if the city is here and I'm in, I, and, and it's, important, it's important for me, I can just say, let's say Germany. And then as you can see, this is a conference paper, but Mendeley, okay, Mendeley also reads it as a conference paper. This is why we have conference proceedings. So the next thing I will do is I'm going to see if the publisher is included and the publisher is IEEE, the month, uh, if let's say I know the month, let's say the month of February and then 23rd, then the URL, this is the URL, I can just copy and paste and if the DOI number is included, fine. If it is not, then you have to write it manually. So now that uh, this is done, all I have to do is click to add to Mendeley, okay? So when I say add to Mendeley, it is done. All I have to do is I open the Mendeley and then uh, I try to go to my uh, folder, which is proceedings. Why is it the paper? The, 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 I think it's not here. Something is uh, missing. Let's write the, let's write the, the another way. Okay, let, let's just go and, and, and change the location. Actually, we have to, um that was it saved in a, in a very old setting I, I used this one long time ago so now i will try to do it again by saying edit and then oh it's not gonna work so let's try another one okay please forgive me for that so now i'm going to select uh, another uh, location what is the location Mendeley is not giving us the location. I don't know why. It's actually just installing on it directly. So let's let's use the first one. So what I will do is I will copy this name, the title, and then I will go to Mendeley and then I will try to say all documents. Now, if I search the name of this document, probably it's not here. As you can see, I can't find it. Why? Because uh, it takes some time to synchronize. So to do that, I have to synchronize between my, my Mendeley on the cloud and my Mendeley on my computer. And to do that, I'm going to say synchronize. And uh, after synchronization, as you can see, it's retrieving the file. Yeah, now I'm going to try to search the document again. 
so why is it not appearing ah <sighs> Um, just give me a moment, please. Um, I don't know what really happened here, but it should it should have saved. Uh, the paper is already here, so um, let me see. This looks like a new account. Let's see if we can move it. Uh oh. Probably I log into a wrong account, maybe. So I will check. Ah, yes, this is what happened. So I was actually uh, using some other account and then suddenly I changed to another so that was what happened so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this account uh, to save that document please uh, forgive me for wasting your time so um, we are going to do this uh, one more time so this is the same paper and i'm going to is let's let's refresh first so i'm i'm refreshing now i'm going to click on web importer again and uh, another paper is here i can just edit the paper and uh, i will be hoping that this information is uh, completely correct so if that is the case then i will just uh, go ahead and copy the name of the title of the article then add it to my monthly uh, account so now if i go to monthly and i try to synchronize to see if this paper has been added i'll just click on all files i'll click on this yes the paper is here as you can see now the paper is here so um the other time there was no there was no synchronization because i was using uh, at gmail.com here and i was using my student uh, account on the web so that was what happened so now that is uh, for adding paper to uh, Mandalay now lo let's look at uh, our presentation and see what is left so we have done all this so now the next thing is we talk about adding the document and then we talk about using DOI number and then we talk about using the manual entry okay so now we are going to look at how we can read the documents with Mandalay. So um, we are going to do that right now. So first of all, there are some rules of the terms that I like to share with you. Uh, the first thing is you should know that whenever you add a paper to Mandalay, do not rely on Mandalay to sort everything out for you, which means when you add a paper, you might miss some information or Mandalay might have miss some information so what do we do now let's add one paper one more time to see what i'm trying to talk about now after adding this paper which is this okay sometimes there are cases where the the, the details of the paper is not correct maybe the type of the art the type of article is not selected properly maybe the, the it's, it's a book but it indicated a journal article then maybe some information here like volume is missing, issue is missing. Now, if you go further, you see that DOI is missing. So sometimes you don't have to rely 100% on Mendeley to fix everything for you. You need to verify because some papers that are not having a very good formatting uh, do not actually uh, keep those information intact. So you have to come here and check uh, to see how everything is. So now uh, let's look at, let's, let's go through some of the papers and see 
uh, and to do that Mendeley has a PDF reader built in inside the system so now I want to double click on this paper uh, it does not open because the paper is not saved on Mendeley when I save this document it was just a uh, an entry it was a manual entry so I, I did not give the paper but here I have the paper when I click on this uh, automatically it gives me uh, the paper now I can be able to read the paper just like I'm reading using uh, Adobe Ad Ad Adobe reader and so on I should be able to see a lot of things I should be able to highlight uh, if some information is is, is, is needed here to, to for my attention I can just highlight it and, and and then go on you can use this option to highlight you can also use from here after highlighting you can just select uh, this highlighter to make it uh, to make a sign also I can create a note if I right click and say add note uh, let's say I can say I need to use this for my introduction so now this can be kept here anytime I want to go through the notes which I have created I can click on notes and I should be able to uh, to see my notes if I go to another page and say add note again let's say this is great so from there I can uh, keep this as well and I should be able to uh, use it in future if I want to so now let's say I have, I have read this paper and now I want to use this paper uh, for my work and I need to cite uh, this paper in my work so what do I do I go back to the details I take the name of the first author I right click or I say copy then I go to Microsoft Office so now how do I insert this let's say I want to say for example uh, let's look at uh, please forgive me I'm going to copy some information uh, from 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 this paper just copy in directly let's say I want to copy this I want to copy up to this uh, section so copy now I'm going to add it to my office as you can see and I want to cite the paper which I've just uh, read so to do that I'm going to point to the end just to the end before the full stop then I will click on citation now before clicking on citation I have to consider many things number one uh, if I'm using or if I'm supposed to use Mendeley, uh, sorry if I'm going to use APA for example or I want to use MLA or Chicago or IEEE or I want to use Harvard uh, style of referencing depending on the type of ref referencing I want to use uh, I have to come and select it first then uh, okay some error came out but not a big deal so uh, I have selected then I will click on site uh, insert citation and I'm going to right click and paste the name of that oh sorry uh, I have to go back and uh, copy again I have to copy the name of the paper or the title of the paper the name of the author it depends on uh, what you have then I'm going to delete this then I'm going to paste it now automatically the paper has just uh, shown itself then I will click and then OK so Mendeley has already uh, inserted the, the, the citation now I'm moving on to the next uh, statement and I'm going to copy this okay so um, let's say uh, I want to cite two authors for example initially it was just one author and here I want to cite two authors so I can just click on citation then I will say let's say I know the name of the author and the name of the author is John so all the papers written by any John are already listed here so uh, I should be able to uh, select which paper I want let's say this is the paper I want and then I have Sarah for example so this is the paper of Sarah which I want to use now when I click on OK automatically two will be selected now I want to copy uh, I want to add another citation but this time around I want five people to be cited so I want John I want Sarah I want Luis for example and then I want Ferdinand 
no Ferdinand. Okay, Fernando. Good. Okay, Fernandez. Then let's say I want this one. I want Paul. I'm searching for Paul. Now, I have added. You see, uh, based on the IEEE styles, it will keep on uh, extending uh, the citation. So now, I have I've, I have done all the citations, and now I want to uh, insert the bibliographies at the end of my uh, conclusion. So all I have to do is I'm going down. I'm going to write uh, references. Oh, depending on what you are actually using. Yeah. Maybe let's say you're using uh, bibliography. Okay. Okay. So um, I click enter. Then I look for insert bibliography. You see, now all the references uh, have been added directly. Okay. One thing I like to show you before moving forward is that sometimes. Uh, when I try to change the citation from here, the citation style, uh, now I can see it and I can go through it and I can change from one citation to another. But sometimes it gives some, you know, some difficulties. So I have to go to uh, view, then citation style, and then I have to check from here uh, to be able to uh, make it work here. So don't forget, sometimes when you try from here and it doesn't show, you have to come here and choose uh, the one that you want. So if you go here, you can just uh, use it. Now, let's say I'm working on a different paper and the paper uh, does not actually want uh, something like IEEEX. It wants something like APA. So when I select on APA, automatically uh, it changes from... Uh, IEEE to AP, as you can see, it has just changed. Even the formatting of the bibliographies have also changed. And let's say I want to use MLA. Yeah. Now it has changed again. And let's say I want to use American Political Science Association. Good. So now I can switch from any type of... Uh, referencing style or format from one referencing style to another so and uh, there are things we should also look at uh, for example there is some error in the citation uh, the easiest way to correct an error is by clicking on the citation you want to get you want to correct let's say uh, one of this is not supposed to be here so i can just click on this you know by selecting uh, all i have to do is click on edit citation and all the citations will be given to me here so i can just choose the one i want to remove let's say i want to remove the first one so i will just uh, delete it then okay now you see that the first one has been removed but now that it has been removed i have to click on refresh so that it gets updated here sometimes mandalay detects the alteration and it goes and update the bibliography automatically now i'm going to try to edit again i don't want one of this let's say i don't want this one so i'm going to delete so when i click on ok uh, i have deleted it and it has been updated here uh, automatically so this is something to do with uh, editing now let's go back to our ppt and see what is uh, like in here we have covered this uh, we have covered this. That is the, in the, the citation of the documents. We have cited more than two works. We have switched between uh, citations from one citation style to another. So now we are going to look into group and document uh, sharing. So um, why is this uh, important document sharing? Okay, why is it important? Uh, it's important, like I said in the beginning, because sometimes you might have some collaborators and you like to collaborate with them and uh, do some research or access some papers. So uh, to do that, uh, there is an option called group uh, in Mendeley desktop. So when I click on create group, it allows me to create a group which uh, people can also join and have discussion with me. So I will start by giving the, 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 the group name, which is Love Camp. 
for example and then i can give it a description it's for the class of 2020 for example and then of course i can choose to make it public or based on invitation or private which means if it is public anybody can search for it and they can have access to it otherwise if i create invite only then i have to invite someone into the group before they can have access to my papers and then if i make it private then i have to add people privately so let's uh, make it uh, based on invite and to do that the, the first thing is they are asking me to give the names or the ip the, the addresses of the people whom i want to invite so let's say i want to invite myself for example I can just send the invite and uh, it is gone so I can add some papers actually and uh, to do that I can just use any of the adding methods to add any paper I want and uh, anybody who has access to this group uh, should be able to have access to these papers they can make changes they can write notes they can temper with the highlighting and so on and uh, everybody who has this information should be able to have access and I can go to edit and I can uh, be able to look at some I can add people from from the web directly Uh oh so probably Mandalay is having some trouble with the server So um, Mandeli wants me to confirm my identity. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So confirm email. All right. So uh, the confirmation is done. Now I can continue to use Mandeli. This is for security reasons, uh, actually. So, um, so as you can see, the group that I just created here, which is Lab Camp, uh, the group is here as well. So I can post things, I can write articles, I can share things. Uh, if I wish, I can do whatever I want from here. And uh, of course, it's going to reflect here in the in, in the group. Okay. So um, so this is this is uh, this is basically uh, the group. Then on on the on the on the next next on the agenda. Uh, basically is using Mandalay search engine. This is uh, one of the most interesting things uh, I want to talk about. So basically the Mandalay search engine uh, is very easy to find and uh, this is the Mandalay search engine. So basically I can just type the name of the paper I want to use and Mandalay will use its own search engine to locate the paper for me. And uh, to do that uh, to do that, I can just say uh, I'm looking for paper on malware. So, Mandalay will use the power of search engine to locate as many papers on malware as possible. And then it's left for me to choose which paper I want. And uh, But be note that these papers are not actually the PDF version of the papers, but these are references. So this is also another way for me to add papers into my collection. And uh, what I will do now is I will choose one of these papers. Uh, and uh, this is the information related to the paper. And uh, if this is a conference paper. I need something from a journal. Okay, now this is IEEE. So now from this, if I want, I can just click on save. And uh, Mandalay will automatically save it in my uh in, in in my repository and i can 
add more papers if I want. As you can see, it has ticked the paper. It has been added. Then uh, I can choose another journal, Computers and Security. I can say Save. Now, when I save these papers and I want to locate these papers, all I have to do is to go to All Documents, then search the name of the author, and this is the paper. But the only problem is that the paper is not available here, which means if I want this paper, I have to go manually to the website. If I have subscription or I have, uh, I have purchased the paper, then definitely I should be able to have access to uh, this paper. Otherwise, I can only have the paper here on my Mendeley. And this same search engine, as you can see, can be found here in, in, in the Mendeley website. Let's quickly see. All right. So um, I can click on this search. And uh, from this search, I should be able to... Uh, filter what kind of thing I want to search. I want to search for papers or I want to search for people or I want to search for groups. Uh, this, are the, this, this group falls under the example of groups which I gave already. And then for people, if I'm looking for someone, for example, I, I'm looking for uh, some somebody called uh, Aman Jantan. If Aman Jantan is on the web, probably we should be able to find any of his profiles here so probably he does not have an account uh, here so we might not be able to find the person maybe we should if we keep on searching probably we might find the person but if he exists definitely his name will show uh, on the first uh, list and then I can search for papers if I want Actually, I'm not a hacker. Don't say I'm, I, I keep on using malware, ransomware, and so on, because I'm working on uh, ransomware in my PhD uh, thesis. So this is why. So, um, okay, so uh, these are the various papers that we find. And uh, if the paper has a PDF, uh, sometimes we can click here and we can just have access to it if it is an open access sometimes we should just click and automatically it takes us to the location of the paper that is if the paper is indeed available for access you can access the paper you know you can get full text if the paper is available uh, if the paper is not available you can add to your library now it has been added if i go to my library i should be able to see the paper and so on and so forth so basically, this is about the Mendeley search engine. Now, on our agenda, we have to look at the Mendeley uh, software to see some important things which we might not have, uh, which we might have missed, actually. So, uh, so exploring the files, uh, this is where we add. Also, we can add uh, documents from here. We can uh, import uh references from other software if we want or other platforms like endnote uh, zotero and so on we can also export our references from here that is from Mendeley to other uh, places if they support uh, Mendeley and then we can synchronize our library and the reason for synchronization sometimes we work on the cloud but it does not reflect uh, on the software so we have to go and uh, refresh or synchronize to make it up to date and then we can sign in or sign out from here and we can quit from here as well then from the edit button we can copy cut and paste and add new groups from view we can see our uh, library cited library as citation or we can see library as table that is this see showing the papers like this is a library as table and then, of course, we can change the citations from here and then some uh, other options here as well. Then from tools, we can check for updates. We can check for settings and configurations from the option uh, here. And then we can seek help, create backup, restore from backup. Now, every single time you do something, uh, Mendeley saves a backup for you in case something goes wrong. So there are a lot of things here in the help option you can explore on your own. And then uh, when I open a paper, for example, 
uh, you should be able to use the selector uh, option to select the paper uh, for example i can use this i can also use the rectangle to select a wide range of uh, area i can use this to move my paper i can add note to any place as i described earlier i can use the highlighter to highlight uh, a given location for example here i can use you know so many things and i can use colors to differentiate different notes i can zoom in zoom out i can fit my screen i can do so many things so these are some of the things uh, we can do uh, we should know about this uh, interface and then of course from my uh, left hand side uh, this is the library option uh, i mean section where we can see all the files all the important areas recently added files uh, recently read files favorites if you, you have some favorites and to have a favorite uh, document you can just click on the what we call the star here when i click on the star it makes it a favorite so when i go to favorite i should be able to see it and uh, you can create your folders you can create your groups and then of course you can use the filter option to search for uh, information based on certain things for example you can search uh, you can uh, you can filter by author keyword if you want uh, you can you, for example let's let's look at this uh, these are some keywords from my papers so i can search for the keyword and see which keyword i'm looking for for example i'm looking for uh, coding it will show me all the papers that talk about coding uh, if i if i'm looking for cohesion it shows me all the papers that talk about cohesion complex you know so many things as you can see so uh, this is it if i want to choose a filter by author it gives me all the name of authors and i can i should be able to see how many this guy how many papers he has you see on in in this library for example this this guys they have uh, this uh, much papers okay and then of course i can search by tags or by publication company and so on then of course this is the detail section where if i select an article it should be able to show me all the details uh, about the article and then if i suspect the information is correct or incorrect then i should be able to click on details are correct then it is okay but if it is not correct i can click on search probably it can search on the internet to make sure that this information is correct sometimes it fails when the data or the the, the, the file is not that much uh, authentic and then sometimes it just searches for you so that's it and uh, sometimes you might have duplicates uh, on monthly that you might want to uh, remove from your files so for example i can click on related uh, okay uh, this is not the option uh, this is not the option so um why is the option i I, I, I can't find it yeah so this is the option for checking duplicates now if I click on check duplicates uh, it tells me that these papers have duplicates there, there are two or three or depending on the, the number of papers so from here you should be able to come and reconcile between which paper you want to keep and which you want to uh, merge so this is it for uh, the bundle interface and uh, i think we have about 15 minutes to go so let's quickly look at what we have on the agenda um, okay this we have explored okay now uh, the last thing we want to look at is the Mendeley cloud that is using Mendeley on, on on the web browser not on the system uh, although we have been using Mendeley on on the cloud for some time now so let me close this much uh, options and leave this one so basically um this is your Mendeley cloud and uh, this is how the main page of Mendeley looks like and uh, as you can see you can post anything you want if you can check your citation updates if you are cited by some people if your papers are recently uh, used or something you know you can see from here then you can check on your library 
if you want and the library is just like your Mendeley desktop but this one is the cloud version so from here you should be able to see all the options everything that is available on the desktop as you can see it's also uh, available uh, here and uh, also I can go back I can look out look for some suggestions if Mendeley has given me some suggestions if there are any suggestions they will all come here uh, and this, this suggestions are actually based on the machine learning algorithm uh, by Mendeley which looks at some of the papers that I visited recently and it will give me recommendations that this paper has been added or this paper has been published and so on and of course I should be able to see my groups if I have like I already have one so I should be able to see the group. I should be able to add or invite people into the group. I should be able to write something in the group and so on. And then another advantage that we benefit from uh, Mendeley is the Mendeley datasets. Mendeley dataset is a location uh, or is a, a repository, it's a data repository by Mendeley, uh, which allows you to search for datasets, especially uh, if your research includes the use of datasets. So for example, if I'm looking for COVID-19 datasets, I should be able to see some examples here uh, as provided. Why is it not showing? Uh, let's see census data. Let's see if we can find. Okay, maybe the page is uh, having some issues right now, but you can find data sets uh, under this one. And of course, you can also publish your data sets uh, if you want. And then another important functionality uh, on Mendeley is the career option and, and in this career option it allows you to search for job it allows you to search for scholarships for funding research funding and so on and then uh, for example let's let's have a quick look the, the website has has changed a little bit anyway uh, let's say you're looking for some job information or some funding uh, related to cyber attacks for example let's see um, I can see within 100 miles okay no problem so let's search and see if we can find anything so there is an associate uh, research associates in federated and adversarial machine learning uh, this is what this is a this is a job I think uh, this is uh, a research associate. This is the kind of the amount of money they will give. So if you want to apply, you can just apply. So with, with Mendeley, actually, uh, you can see a lot of things and you can benefit from a lot of things, especially uh, research funding and jobs and so on. And then, okay, this is under the funding. This is career. Okay, they have separated the two. Initially, I think the two were merged. So you can see there are many fundings uh, in various uh, subjects. In computer science, we have about 760 uh, programs or maybe schemes. You should be able to explore from here and then uh, make your choice. So um, I think we have discussed uh, almost everything uh, based on this. Uh, okay, one last thing that we haven't discussed is the user profile. You can be able to, you know, temper with the profile from here and uh, you can edit your name your whatever and so on you can see who is following you who you are following you can see your papers you can see uh, so many information about yourself and about your research and how you are doing things your publications and so on so this is basically uh, all about uh, Mendeley so um, yeah so I guess uh, this is the end of uh, this uh, short, well, not really short, but this is the end of this uh, session. So um, thank you so much for, for, for coming. Thank you so much for visiting. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope you will like my channel in case I share some more information about research, about uh, knowledge, learning, and so on. 
so thank you so much and uh, i wish everyone a good day and uh, thank you so much once again uh, bye bye